as a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the heart, mind, soul, and body of patients, their families, and ourselves. They may not remember your name, but they will not forget the way you made them feel. Wendy is a patient who came in to see uh, one of our providers uh, for a contraception visit. She found out, instead of what birth control to use, that she actually was pregnant again. At first, I was so, I was kind of shocked. I called my husband, I said, well, we have a problem. He said what? I told him, he's like, okay, hold on, hold on. I will call you back. So when I got him, I said, why did you? Then she, he called me back in 10 minutes. He said he needed some time to think. So he called me back. He said, you know what? We can do it. You know, we didn't plan for it. We can do it because abortion is not one of our options. She was in nursing school. She had just had a child six months ago and she didn't, wasn't expecting this news. She just needed to talk to someone. By me talking to nurse Heidi, it's really, really made a big difference. We sat down, she held my hand. She really uh, gave me the courage to go through it and she gave me some resources in case I need help and she was very on point and that really encouraged me. She said, well, if you are here, if you need help, I am here. You can take my card, you can call me at any time. I felt really supported. I felt like I can trust this lady to help me if I have any medical needs. This is true care. This is true compassion. That really even gave me the, the courage to go ahead and finish my school. For her, I didn't forget her name. I remember her name. And I didn't forget how she made me feel. She made me feel wonderful. My son is paranoid schizophrenic. He began to get more secluded and, and hearing voices and seeing things. Mr. James was his psychiatric nurse, which well, he was a very excellent nurse, very caring, very professional. Working with Anthony and his mother Constance, I had the opportunity to watch them over time develop and grow and get better. They tried several uh, two or three different medicines on Anthony. Fortunately, uh, because of Mr. James, the psychiatric nurse perseverance and coming to let us, let us come here and say, well, this is not working, that is not working, uh, what shall we do? And he, he really worked with us. Working with um, Constance and working with Anthony, uh, it really had a, just the best opportunity to not only communicate with a patient, but affect the patient's life through their family in this case through his mother, who was also um, such a strong advocate for him that um, I think we kind of pushed each other to really work with him and to keep him off the street and to keep him focused on his treatment. Many times it's a stigma on the mentally ill that, oh, they're crazy and this and that, but it's a person there who has a chemical imbalance and they really need help and really need to be understood and, uh, and, and this clinic uh, reached out in that way to Anthony. And I think even in his darkest moments, I believe he realized that. Julissa came in as a prenatal patient. She was high risk pregnancy, um, had a history of preterm. She'd had a preemie that was only 24 weeks, so um, we were worried about this baby. I had, you know, all these complications. I had morning sickness through my whole pregnancy, and sometimes I felt like giving up, and it was really hard to cope with it. Then also socioeconomical complications that she needed lots of help with. Sometimes she would have babysitting help from relatives, but not a lot of support. So that's a risk factor. It was very hard for me to find a babysitter. And because of that, I couldn't get to any of my appointments on time. The nurses saw that. They referred me to Safe Families, and they was like, we can get the kids. And I was like, that was a big relief. She had been through so much and kind of established this wall to care, where it's like, they don't really care about me anyway. But here we are knocking on her door, sometimes Literally, <laughs> come on over, we're here for you. The nurses here are really trying to help me and I've never seen that at any other clinic. They've been there to hold, to hold my hand and hug me through my tears. We're like one of the stable rocks of taking care of people that are really, really at risk. Even though sometimes compliance was an issue, it's not 
something that she chose. There was just so many life barriers that were preventing her from getting what she needed. About a week before she delivered, I sent her 20-month-old to the emergency room in respiratory distress. And then to top it off with all of the stress and strain that she's had, just being a single mom with now three kids, um, the baby had a newborn screen that tested positive for potentially this immune deficiency that would have been catastrophic. It's been a lot of, a lot of loving to keep her <laughs> together and going. I believe that they make the time to show each and every one of their patients that they care. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that they call to make sure we're on time for our appointments. The success is that her baby is healthy and gaining weight. And perhaps the biggest success is that she trusts us.